Hello there, it's me Sari here again and today I thought I'd show you my album made with the Vintage Feliz die from Tim Holtz. There you can see it. And it does die cut the most beautiful piece of paper or carton or whatever. And it also gives you the decorations needed for a suitcase. And uh, it's pretty handy in size, I mean, and you can choose between making it into a horizontal one or perhaps uh, like this. I can't really remember what it's called now. And I wanted to be pretty brave with this album and I chose photos that I just had lying in a plastic bag randomly and I wanted to make them work somehow. So I ended up making a front for the album just using a photo of mine putting it onto a die cut piece of carton here really and desperately seeking for sari. It could be that I'm going through my midlife crisis or something here but I just wanted to make it work anyway. So having taken some pictures of um, some hot air balloons outside my window I decided on making it into fly high without fear. And these stickers actually come from Tim Holtz's pretty tiny little um, stickers pad. And when it comes to flying high, I just want to do it and I want to write something about it later. So another tip for you if it is of course that even if you are have bound your album together, you could still die cut more of these pages, punch the holes, and in this case I have used the cinch to do that. You can just cut the holes open like this and that enables you to put it in and take it out. This might come in handy when I do my writing or just if I want to add on some more pages. So it's a really nice tip for you to make that album go longer. And uh, here is something, it's a half uh, print of, an, of a randomly chosen photograph photo there. And in this case, since I am getting older as I go along here, it's all about growth now, isn't it? So I'm going to do a bit of writing there. And I wanted to keep everything pretty simple with this album. I just wanted to make use of whatever I had on the table or perhaps in a plastic bag here behind me that I could easily reach and just make use of. And um, here is the other half of that uh, page of me and since this photo here accidentally ended up like that I just wanted to name or give the title upside down to this page and then I have used a tag that I have um, just inked up with some pumice stone I think and there's a uh, Tim Holt stamp there and here is something from Hero Arts with some hot air balloons there and uh, here I tried stamping on a photo with some stays on ink and the stamps come from Vilda stamps in this case and I tend to be pretty pensive a person so I just wanted to give the title a pensive mind instead of a beautiful mind because I'm not that clever now am I and uh, when it comes to thinking well certain things you should think about of course and perhaps I ought to jot them down here and then instead of being so serious all the time, I just want to let myself be entertained. And here I have been at Lissebari. It's an amuse amusement park in Gothenburg, Sweden. And on this side I'm going to try to narrow the best concert or favourite band or whatever down to this page. So I have some kind of a memory of that, of that when I'm going, going older. I found this picture here, and I think that I'm in my 30s here. That was then, but this is now. So I'm, it, this isn't me, but it could as well be me. And it's a good reminder. I have used a postcard her here, really, because I did fancy her, sort of, because she's pretty happy looking, even though she's really overweight. So I must find a balance between these things. And even though I fancy this more, I can't really get those 15 years back when that has gone now, so I have to make something, I made the best out of this anyway. And here's another randomly printed uh, photo with lots of black and white pictures, and you can see how nicely the Canon Selfie CP900 actually prints out the black and white pictures. 
and here I've played around with some washi tape I did put some white paper underneath because otherwise I don't think that these papers would have been that visible or these tapes would have been that visible and I wanted to keep it in black and white and blue because the Finnish flag since I am a Finn actually has something blue in it and uh, fittingly enough I also found a grid paper here with would love to learn how to and I would like I'm going to do some writing about that later when I was in Milan Milano a couple of years ago I found this and I saw this I am me so of course I have to be myself or be yourself so I'm going to do a bit of writing on that one as well and I'm going to enjoy good food, homemade bread. Marie is a girl who actually makes the most beautiful bread and a wonderful lentil soup to go with it. So that is something that I want to enjoy. And I also want to take care of my health. And here is Dougla, uh, a relative of mine. And she loves to go to the sauna. And I also want my own sauna. So that is one of my dreams. So in order to get there, to both take care of my health and also get my own sauna I have to jot down some pointers here I think I haven't really decided on what to do with this yet but I have used a postcard here which has to do with sausages so imagine me having kept on hold, held on to this postcard for at least perhaps 20 years first now I actually get to use it so this is uh, after the sauna in Finland. We are barbecuing or putting some, having having put some sausages on the grill. Really, really nice. And uh, I do like to take the scenic route sometimes. So in this case, I actually had the luck of being just a passenger in the car. Otherwise, I'm the one driving. You see, and I just took a photo and I had it, had it printed out, and I just wanted to make it come to use. And the one nice thing about this is with the word scenic, I did have a Renault scenic. So in this case, it's a nice reminder of that car. And with this one, it's all about taking risks. I actually did take these pictures while I was driving. So even though it was a bit hazardous, uh, I did manage. You see, I'm here. Nobody got killed. But I do want to remind myself of actually taking risks, even though they might seem dangerous. But I'm not sure if I would like to go down a bicycle with those on those stairs there. But it's a sort of a reminder of taking risks, not being safe all the time. I do like to travel. So this is a sight from uh, the aeroplane when we were on our way to Italy, or perhaps on our way from Italy, really. And the elephant there, this is also a postcard I had at least 20 years I'm sure so it's nice to actually get make use of them right now so I could do a bit of writing on these sides here and uh, then it comes to elephants more elephants I've taken these I've taken these pictures at the zoo in Boros and I do call myself the Norso girl so it's a nice thing to actually have these combined and here is an elephant too and I love this picture uh, it's a photo actually oh, I'm sorry a postcard really so it's a nice thing and uh, when I'm out walking sometimes, I do fancy taking pictures of animals and such. So that is why I cho cho chose to call this page Nature Calls. And perhaps I could do something about it, write something about it there. And talking about those photo walks, I do like to take walks and photograph at the same time. And, uh, well, I just couldn't resist putting John Cleese there, I could I? So... He's taking a silly walk. So, well, I could actually start making silly photo walks, perhaps. Who knows? And then we come to my favourite for colour, orange. I do like orange, can't help myself. So this is these are some close-up pictures that I actually took. And perhaps I'll do some writing on that, about that later. And most Finns drink alcohol, but I'm, I'm not that kind of a Finn, really. So I'm just going to write something about it there. And uh, to finish this album off, I decided on putting here, you are alright. Because with or without my flaws, I am alright, aren't I? So I must remind myself of that. And I will be 
decorating this further, but I will, I'll be keeping it on the simple side really, because this, is, this was one of the challenges. To use scrap pieces of paper, use um, alphabet letters and stickers, and just keeping it simple, so I could actually manage finishing this. And I also wanted to make this into some sort of a reminder book of uh, things that I have done or things I want to do. So it's a, yeah, I don't know, it's a notepad, I could say. So that's it from me. I hope you're fine. Bye bye.